Let's talk about how uh, how's it going out here, the mindset out here. I know you guys two days scrimmages have been pretty intense. Yeah, we just try to come out here every day, get the defense better, defense coming out, and trying to get the offense better so we can put up a lot of points on the uh, on the scoreboard. We just try to come out and win a national championship. What's been kind of Coach Shannon's message to you guys and anything that he's been preaching to the team? Well, he's just telling us to work hard every day. Everybody hurt. And we just try to um, come out and just take one game at a time. What can be a good role for you this season, do you think? I mean, would it be catching passes or spot duty or third down duty or full time? I mean, what, what do you see as a role for yourself? Well, right now, I do anything to help the team out and win games, but I don't know what Coach Shannon trying to do with all the running backs because we got a lot of great running backs and we just competing and trying to make everybody better because when it's the next guy's turn, we want them to do good. So we just trying to keep that going. How tough is it where there's all these running backs and there's only so many carries to go around, you know, as opposed to high school where you can get a lot more action? Well, whenever you get the ball, you got to go to distance with it. So we just trying to come out and just work hard and continue to work. Days or is it Friday? Uh, you know, two days are always tough just gotta mentally prepare yourself and get yourself rested up during the breaks and stay hydrated, get your mind right to come out here and work on it. As you get further and further in the camp with the first game of coaching, does it get harder to come out here every day and maintain that focus that you had maybe more stay camp? Uh, I don't think so, because you know, every day you remind yourself that you're working towards a goal, you know, to win every game, you know, work hard every day and get better. So, so, so I think it's, it's pretty much easy for me to keep my focus, you know, not playing much, you know, just working hard every day to get on the field. So, so it's not hard for me. Do you think how you're, given how you're doing this fall, maybe this is a chance to sort of have a little breakout season now? Uh, I'm just trying to make the, the most of each opportunity I'm given. You know, just continue to get better every day. What do you feel like you need to do to get more playing time in terms of getting better? Uh, what I need to do, um, just continue making plays, you know, stay in the film room. You know, every day it's something I can work on, whether it's blocking, just coming out my breaks, having my hands up. It's always something I can work on to get myself better. So I can't really pinpoint one thing. Can you kind of describe what it's been like for you? I mean, obviously, you know what you can do, but not not getting maybe the playing time or the production you'd like is what it's been like. Uh, you know, my first year, you know, it was hard you know, watching the team. You know, I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't even practice, you know, having my arm all wrapped up. I couldn't even do anything with the trainers. That was hard for me. You know, last year, I got a few opportunities. You know, I was there for my teammates, worked hard every day. You know, you know, we evaluate everything at the end of the season. You know, you know <laughs> thought about what I had to work on, you know, been in, been in camp or whatever, working on everything I need to. So I could, you know, get myself the best ability to be on the field this upcoming season. Tony, you feel like you're definitely making more plays this fall camp than you have? Oh, yeah, no doubt about that. I, I've been making making more plays. You know, that all that, I feel like all that comes with uh, you know opportunity. The more opportunities you have, the more opportunities you have to make plays. So. You feel so. like the injuries are behind you and all that? Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. You know, worry about the injuries or anything. I'm fully recovered. It doesn't bother me at all. You think you Kevin overcome those? It's made you stronger mentally to have a stronger mindset about you. Yeah, I, I think so. You know that's. On the field, off the field, you know, having those, having an injury, you basically have a lot of time to sit back and think, you know, and do a lot of watching. You know, that's what I did while I was hurt. You know, learn a lot of things. A lot of times you might not be in because of injury, but but you could take mental reps from a guy's mistakes. So when you're out there, you don't make the same mistakes. How many people point you out here with deep stretch? Um, what's your most recent 40 time in the spring? Uh, in the spring, they, we ran there twice. I ran a, a 4 3 and a 4 3 3. Yeah. Is it something you're working on, maybe also your intermediate possession receiving type of stuff? Because obviously, you know, you catch people <laughs> pretty yeah, well, yeah, and, yeah. you know. I've been yeah, working on underneath routes, you know, quick slants, little fire squares, all that out routes. 
I feel like that that's what coming in, I, I felt I needed to work on sinking my hips a lot more because I don't have a problem being, you know, a straight line guy, but so the intermediate routes and you know, I've been really working on and coming along pretty well enough. You feel like Jacory likes to throw that deep ball? Uh, <laughs> you know, Jacory, he, he makes a, the most of each opportunity. If the opportunity for the deep ball is there, he'll take it. But, you know, if, if it's not there, he's not going to force it. He'll, he'll go find the intermediate route, take his reads, and, you know, just find an open guy. Look at a guy like Leonard Hankerson. Uh, the truth is, I kind of, I look up to Hank, you know, a lot of times, like, I be telling myself, I be, like, I, I do a lot of thinking, and I remember one night telling myself, praying to God, I was like, Lord, I, I want to, I like to play behind the guy who makes it to the NFL, who, who's successful here, so, so I know what it takes, you know, and I'll, now I see a, a Hank emerging, emerging is, is that guy, you know, so it's kind of fulfilling for me. What do you feel like kind of got him going well? What was the reason you feel like he really busted out last year? You know, he, he works extremely hard, you know, in the all season, springtime, the guy gets a lot of work in. Whether well, it's three, like, we, we may have just weights, he'll come out here and catch, catch balls nonstop, run routes. He's, he's always doing something to get better, with, whether it's watching film, anything. Is this year's going to be different as far as expectations on him. How do you think he's, he's going to handle that? Are you talking to him about it at all? Uh, he talk to you? I think he's ready for anything that, that comes his way. You know, he has a lot. He had a lot of years to you know grow into the, the player that he is and the, and the man that he is. And I feel like he's ready. Is he someone you can talk to? No, uh, yeah, yeah. We have a. Uh, Special relationship. Sometimes I call my brother-in-law jokingly. Brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> brother-in-law jokingly. Uh, were you ever hurt in high school? Did you ever have to deal with yeah, injuries? Yeah, or? yeah. My senior year, after we had um, we had a game in Texas. But coming back the next game, I had sprained my shoulder. Was out for four games. I was I had that injury, and I broke my collarbone. My freshman year, they had me a defensive end. The Northwest. Wow. How, how good so, do you so you've had to deal with a lot of injuries? Uh, not, not, not so much. Those were kind of like freak, freak accidents. It wasn't really nothing major. How good do you think the offense can be this year, Tommy? Uh, sky's the limit with the offense. We have so many playmakers. We're deep in every position. You know, the second guys can come in and get the job done. Third guys, you know, they're taking a lot of reps, doing a lot of great things out there. So. So if a guy goes down, I feel like, you know, we'll still be in a good position to win games. And we think the champs for you is a good way to end the season so to speak in terms of carry over to the offseason in terms of being able to get some work in and, and make a play.